Today, I'm going to be evaluating the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the minus x squared over e to the minus x plus 1 dx. Let's get right in. I'm going to call this integral here i. And now, from my experience doing lots of these integral problems before, if I see e to the minus x plus 1 on the bottom, um, that's a clue to do a little substitution. That substitution is going to be u equals minus x. And if I do u equals minus x, that just means du is minus dx, and so dx is just minus du. So what does this integral here become? Well, the bottom limit, the lower limit, when x is minus infinity, u will be positive infinity. And when x is positive infinity, u will be minus infinity. e to the minus x squared, well, x squared is just the same as u squared, so this would just be e to the minus u squared, over e to the minus x will just be e to the u, and then plus 1. And then dx will become du times minus 1. But what's quite nice is I can use this negative sign here to swap the limits around. So this is actually just the same as the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the minus u squared over e to the minus u, uh, sorry, e to the u, apologies, plus 1 du. And now the trick is I want to kind of relate this back to the original integral. And it looks kind of similar. We've got e to the negative something squared on the bottom, but our denominators are slightly different. So let's kind of force them to be the same. And so let's divide this by e to the minus u. So this is the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the minus u times e to the minus u squared. Um, and then on the bottom, I've got 1 plus e to the minus u du. OK, cool. But what's really nice about this is the fact that u here is just a dummy variable. It does not matter what u actually is as a letter, because when we integrate this out, the u's will disappear and this will just be a number. What do I mean by that? Um, so if I integrate, let's say, 0 to 1 of x squared dx, that would just be 1 third x cubed from 1 to 0. But if, on the other hand, I integrate from 0 to 1 u squared du, that will be, well, 1 third u cubed from 1 to 0. But the fact of the matter is, well, when I plug in 1 and 0 into this, it's going to be no different to when I plug in 1 and 0 into this. So even though these are different letters in my original integral, because the limits are exactly the same, and the integral and the, like, the d and the letter is the same, uh, these two should always be the same. So this, in fact, is the same as the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the minus x times e to the minus x squared, all over 1 plus e to the minus x dx. Cool. And this is still equal to i. So what I'm going to do now is add this i with this i, and that's going to give me 2i. And then that's going to be the integral from minus infinity to infinity, because if I add two integrals and I have the same limits, I can bring them into one. And if I add these two integrals up, I get e to the minus x squared plus e to the minus x times e to the minus x squared, all over e to the minus x plus 1 dx, like so. And then this, I can factor out e to the minus x on the top. Maybe let me put this over here. This is going to be equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the minus x squared, e to the minus x plus 1, over e to the minus x plus 1. And you can probably see where this is going. Those guys there cancel out. And I'm just left with the in integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the minus x squared dx. And this is the famous Gaussian integral. And so this is equal to the square root of pi. And that's equal to 2i, remember. And so therefore, i is equal to root pi over 2. So this original integral here is the square root of pi divided by 2. A really cool integral uh, with a very nice trick, which hopefully maybe you haven't seen before. Now you know it. If you see e to the minus x plus 1 on the bottom, don't be afraid to do a little substitution u equals minus x. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do give it a like. It would be great to hit about four likes on this video. That would be, be great. So if you can get me to four likes, that will be unbelievable. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.